Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on automating your touches. Let's get started. New to Fingers 2.90 is the Record Touches option and the Test Touches array. If you want to record touches, simply press play, which I have done, and select this checkbox. Now all your touches are being recorded into this Test Touches array. So I've just recorded 349 touches. Before you press stop, click the little cog and do copy component. Then you may click stop, go back to the cog, and do paste component values. That'll put in all of your touches. Unfortunately, it also puts this record touches option back on. You'll need to turn that off. But now when you press play, it will replay your touches. So there it replayed all of the touches that I did for my session. So that's great for automating uh, touches. But there may be cases where you want to simulate, say, a really fast touch, like a swipe. In that case, you can just do a couple of touches. I'm going to start this touch at 150, 150, give it an ID of 1, time index, say, 0 0.5, and we'll do phase of began. Next element, let's move it to say 250 by 250, time index 0 0.65, phase moved. Give that an ID of 1 as well. Finally, we'll do ID 1, screen position 300 by 350, time of 0 0.75, phase of ended. So these will be three touches. You can do it screen coordinates, or if this is checked, position is percentage, you can do zero to one values. That's great for multiple resolutions. But let's go ahead and run this and see if my swipe works. That's pretty good. My swipe worked. It went pretty fast, and the joystick still worked, so that's great. This is an excellent way to automate your tests, uh, perform complex gestures, Flicks, other things that are difficult to replicate that you think you'd want to test for. So I hope you enjoy this new fields on the finger script. I think they'll really help automate things and help you test. Uh, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.